Hey guys, I'm Janice on occasion, and today we are fighting off a billion different factions. There's uh, Adeptus Sororitas, spaceships flying around, there's uh, hover tanks of the Tau, the tanks. I'm trying to get Tau and tanks into the same word, and it just makes me sound uh, ridiculous. But anyway, um, yeah, we're fighting stuff, and there's chaos about. See, there's one. Literally just one. You have zero health. What? Do you have a thing that lets you be alive like a jerk? Killing an enemy unit may reward this unit with an... Oh. Do, you have, do you have a thing that makes you alive? For larks? Maybe? <laughs> I mean, I don't see it. It just says he's got no health. That's very confusing. Alright, let's kill him with the Hive Tyrant, I guess. Oh yeah, you just try and shoot me. And uh, we found a Space Marine City. And yeah, he's he's just got eviscerated. Good lad. So, life here is short, born in the slave mills. Only the strongest endure the Slaneshi's agonizing sacrifices, survive the cornate hunting parties, escape Nurgle's pandemics, and are used by Tsingshu's all-seeing plans without being destroyed. And in this prison of a city, no one survives all of this for long, intact or uncorrupted. Sounds like a problem that'll solve itself, really, doesn't it? Alright, you stay there for now. Uh, you guys just destroyed the um, thingamajigs. You know the ones. The thingamajigs. What the hell are they called? Admech. There we go. Nailed it. Uh, right, you. Over here. No? Over here. For I have plans for you. No, no, I have plans for him, not you. Uh, yeah, I want you to go up there too. I want more men up there. We may need to deal with this as well. Uh, do I have another Turbigan nearby? Uh, three turns, those are Carnifexes. There's one, and there's one. Okay, let's get you up here. I'm going to build another thing over here. So I can get to that city quickly as well. With whoever. Uh, I need to keep out the way of this thing though. Or, keep in the way of it. Yeah, we're going to actually get over here, I think. And we're going to try and deal with this thing. We're going to do some damage to it. Because if we can get it to retreat, it's not going to shoot us with that flipping... That railgun. I mean, 15 damage. 15.6 damage, 9 armor penetration. And it's got the twin-linked burst cannons as well. Just some extra... Extra kapow, you know. It's a problem. Not a huge problem, but, you know, we need to deal with it. Um, oh, and you can shoot that. From there to slow it down. There's vault sentries everywhere that we need to handle. It's quite annoying. In fact, I might need to move one of these guys. Yeah, I think I need to move one of these guys over to here so this doesn't get destroyed. Which is very annoying. We'll get through most of it though. We also found a commandery. The center of the Adeptus Sororitas' efforts on Gladius Prime, this city fortress can take a sister from cradle to grave, passing her through her novitiate to being a true battle sister. Such a city is the seat of this world's faith. Ringing with auto-choral prayers day and night, its air saturated with the smell of sacred unguents, blessed oils, and burnt heretics. Yet beneath its lofty spires, the mass of humanity works, lives, and dies unnoticed. Cool, cool. Um, right, so we have this turbigan as well. Which I guess can come over here and eat this devil fish. I hope you like sushi. Of course they do. Tyranids love sushi. Alright, let's have a look. Um... Oh, hello. Huh. Hi. Hi, fella. Cool. Now let's get this trigon here too. And you can gobble it up. There you go. Uh, really worried about these things. They can't do much to us, I don't think. I don't think they do a huge amount of damage. Although, on mass they certainly can. We relied on on ships a ludicrous amount in our Depth Sororitas campaign. They ended up just demolishing everything for us. It's great. But uh, we don't really have much in the way of ranged or flying units just yet. So to be able to actually compete with these guys might be a bit tough. Hopefully Hive Tyrants can get the job done, though. Uh, we also have our Malanthrope up here, which I'd completely forgotten about. I am a little worried about Tau coming up from there, now that we're attacking some of their units. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I feel pretty confident. Let's grab that. Uh, wow, we have three of those now. We get Hive Crone every two turns. 
Oh, I love that. Big fan. Uh, let's grab this. And we found some retributors. Or retributors, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, retributors. Retributors. Are armed with the Order's heaviest weaponry, believing that the Emperor himself guides their aim. These sisters annihilate the Ecclesiarchy's foes with overwhelming firepower, completing the Holy Trinity of Bolter, Flamer, and Melter. Retributors, retributors are adept at wielding deadly multi-melters, whose roaring thermal blasts can reduce the mightiest of battle tanks into molten slag. Uh, cool. Sounds good. Uh, you stay where you are for now. Oh, wow. Hi, Hive Tyrant. Need to destroy this thing, don't we? Sure do. Let's get a damage bonus. And hopefully, you know what, let's get another damage bonus. Because I want to actually be able to kill this in two turns. It looks like it might survive a second turn. Oh, there's another one there. For God's sake. Alright, let's get another one of these up here, alright? They can come back to, to the hive, you know, the brood hive, and jump out wherever else afterwards. It's not a problem. But my God, they're everywhere. Uh, you're fine where you are, mate. You're fine. Uh, these Tyranid Warriors... Oh, we have another another Trigon. Fun. Maybe I want that one... Over here now, and they can come over this way. And set one up over here, instead of... That other Trigon that's somewhere. Okay, is that everybody now? Maybe. Mm, let's get another Trigon. Cool. And, I guess, more Biomass? Sure. And more biomass. You know, I'm starting to think just another coherence node might be better. Because another 6% resources of everything might be better than just like another 5.7. Actually, is it? Maybe not. I don't know. We're going to get on the loyalty thing anyway. If we lose a hive crone, I don't want to get slaughtered. Um, slaughtered? in terms of resources. That, that, no, there's no way that word can apply there. I don't want to have rubbish resource generation if I lose a bunch of loyalty all at once again. Um, slaughtered. <laughs> Alright, let's get a turbigan. Let's just, let's shut up and get a turbigan. Right, let's grab, um, something. Uh, none of this stuff really matters. Like, none of these units do, but I feel like we should still probably get some of this stuff. Gargoyles for more flying units might actually be good for dealing with that air force. Just to help bog them down, you know? I think that might be worthwhile. Which sounds bizarre at this point, but... Increase arm penetration biomorphs. Biomorphs, I don't know what that is. Who's cooldown reclamation. Or we could get a side uh, Hyrodule. Or some Tyrannifexes, so we have some decent long-range stuff. That might help against the flyers, actually. Hive Crone's additional ranged weapon. I think we want to get that, actually. Hive Crone's are a bit rubbish right now. I'm not, I'm not that happy with them. So we'll upgrade them. Then we'll get another ranged unit so we can shoot down flying units. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, a lot of all sentries doing their thing. Like, a lot of all sentries doing their thing. I think that was a brand new one that just appeared over there, too. There's hundreds of these things. Uh, stinger salvos are simple, uh, simple but effective weapons that fire rows of meter-long razor-sharp spikes. That does sound simple and effective. That that definitely does. Uh, do I want to grab the bonus here? Can you get the bonus? We can't. You can't interact with the ground. Oh, that sucks a bit, doesn't it? Oh, such a shame. Um, Alright, let's just attack him. That's fine. Ah, here we go. This is kind of what I was hoping for. Try and uncover some additional units while running around them, you see. Let's attack there. Uh, can't quite kill them in one hit with the... Uh... Oh, let's see if you can. Uh, Alright, you can kill all them. You can kill all them. And then you can probably get in by this tank. Oh, that'll be dead anyway. Okay, we killed everything. <laughs> nice. That'll do... And hang on a minute. Oh, no, no, it's up here. I thought they destroyed the thing. And that is another artifact, I think. I don't think that's another sentinel thingy. Whatever the, the guys, you know, these guys, the Vol sent sentries. Uh, so we found a Castigator. Oh, is that the one we just killed? Basically the Predator tank, but not. Uh, Castigators are powerful battle tanks of the Adeptus Sororitas. They provide excellent fire support for battle sisters thanks to their wide array of weapons, smashing through the foe's lines and slaughtering great swathes of enemy infantry in a matter of seconds. 
Well, not all enemies, apparently. You'll find there, you do you. Um, never try gone. So, do we want to smash this to bits? I mean, usually. Usually. Is that on the cards just yet? Or do you want to try and focus on chaos a bit? We could focus on all of the things. That is an option. Except I guess focusing on all the things isn't really focusing, is it? Technically. Alright, let's... No, no, stop it. Let's construct a brood hive over there. Will it live? Baiting an overwatch with a building is a very strange thing to do. But I'm here for it. Ooh, hello. Found some cultists. And you can pop up over here. Nice. So we found a dark fortress. Even 10,000 years of heresy hasn't entirely eliminated a traitor's training. Like their fellow adeptors, Astartes, traitor marines prefer to operate from a secure, well-constructed defensive position, preferably built by the Iron Warriors. This acts as a forward operations base for their raids and pillaging. It sure does. Do I need you to do more damage? I think I probably do. Although, it's still not really saying that you can kill these guys in a single hit, which is bizarre, because that's an extra 90% damage, apparently. And yet, barely doing like an extra damage. I think it's I think it's literally because everything that we are attacking will die in its entirety, but we don't have any blast attacks, so we can't actually hit all of them. I think that could be the issue we're having. The numbers are literally like Oh wow, you can get all the way over here. Oh awesome. Yeah, you can go over there then. We'll skip this one for now. And you can grab that. I know, a rather bizarre move to make. Ha 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 Ah, uh, it's a, it's a, all right, it's a trader encampment, not a bazaar, but I think you get what I mean. Um, and this Trigon, oh, this was the one that was going to build a forward base over here, but now I'm thinking we just attack these guys. You know what? That's plenty to attack already. Screw it. Let's move over here. We'll build another forward thing. It's not really a forward base, is it? It's just a, <laughs> whatever the hell it is, I don't know. Let's get you over there. This Trigon. Oh, you can actually deploy that now. Do I want to deploy it here? Perhaps. Maybe I just want to attack this thing instead. And that can actually do a fair bit of damage. Cheeky boy. So hello, Venom Crawler. That's your real name. It is. It is his real name. Pounding forwards upon bladed limbs come the horrors known as Venom Crawlers, grotesque amalgams of metal, flesh, and demonic entities. These monstrosities hiss and snarl as they scuttle towards their prey. Fleshy tongues flap from snarling maws and soul flayer tendrils lash back and forth. Like It's like um, that song where you whip your hair back and forth. Just insert that in your mind. I'm not going to play it for copyright reasons, but just imagine Venom Crawlers doing that and have a lovely chuckle. Okay, you can have that for free. Some free humour for you there. Put it on TikTok. Make a million pounds. I don't know. Um, so as the Venom Crawlers continue to butcher, their fanged mouths gape ever wider, drawing the souls of those slain into their vast mechanical abdomens. Just like Will Smith. Uh, so we're going to attack that guy now. That'll be fun. And you can sit tight. You're doing great. Proud of you. Uh, let's move you up. And let's kill this thing. Okay, you sort of ran right into that guy. Let's give you additional attacks and damage and all the things. You just attack it, it'll be dead next turn. Uh, I'm going to ignore that one so I can kill this. I need to move first though, Jesus. Hate to get it with a ranged attack by accident. Where did your guy go? Did you kill your guy? I think they might kill their guy. Oh, that's annoying. I can't reach the other guy. Oh, yes he can. Nice. Hooray for me. Alright, you can kill that one. And we can buff to kill that one. And then over here... Did one run away? Or is that it? The other one ran up that way, I think. There it is. Alright. More attacks. Uh, I haven't actually had you attack yet, so you should do that. And go chase this one down. Thanks. And yes, eat a bit of lightning. It's just a bit of lightning, don't worry. More damage, please. Good, we can kill it. This invasion is taking forever. 
It's <laughs> it's not dangerous in any way. It's just a bit tedious. Uh, we have some Tyranid warriors. That's nice. Good for them. Uh, let's get some more trigons. Do you want more trigons? Sure. Why not, eh? Why not? Uh, we've got another Trigon being built over there. we got a Turvigan on its way. Let's get some Tyranid Warriors too. And let's get these Tyranid Warriors out to the front somewhere as well, shall we? Cool. Uh, God, we still on the same turn. I moved these guys up. We are as well. There's just so much to do. Guess you can go somewhere too. Uh, you go over here, so you just keep watch for us. That would be really nice. And you haven't attacked yet, so let's get that out of the way. Uh, you haven't eaten this tile yet, so get that out of the way. Uh, we're going to have another flyer in a second, and we can start getting some more biomass. Yeah, why the hell not? Sounds great. Choose research. Um, so we got that extra attack, which I think has helped. I, mean, I don't know what a biomorph is. Let's just do that, and hopefully some things will have more armor penetration. I mean, I think a biomorph might be... That might be those... Uh... Is a spore mine a biomorph? Maybe not. I have no idea. I have no idea. I wish it would say what was a biomorph. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Something. Okay. Bowel Reavers, hope. Oh no, don't electrocute my Trigon. Rude. Oh, some cultists trying to attack my Trigon over here. I do love that we just have, like, this entire front has three different factions that we're running up to. And we're just, we're just cutting through all of them. We're just devouring everything completely indiscriminately. It's very, very on brand. Uh, some Zephyrim have been discovered. Only those who experience a direct and persistent connection with the Emperor become Zephyrim. They are divine destroyers, figures of fathomless passion and integrity. On the battlefield, they strike down their foes with ruthless precision, while their angelic singing drowns out the screams of the dying. What's going to drown out their own screams, I wonder? I wonder. Okay, let oh wow, you can kill it in one? Really? Jesus. Nice. Found some more things. Found some Battle Sisters. The Battle Sisters, famously in the Sisters of Battle. The vast majority of an Order militant is made up of Battle Sisters. Every Battle Sister is an orphan raised from birth to believe in the righteousness of their cause, which isn't weird at all. They are the most uh, physically adept and martial members of the Adept Sororitas, and they form the mainstay of the Ecclesiarchy's fighting forces because of a loophole. Literally because of a loophole. Battle Sisters are well disciplined and highly devoted to the Emperor. Um, so basically the Ecclesiarchy tried to basically like take over the Imperium at one point, And so they were banned from uh, having men um, serve in their military. And so they just got women to be in their military instead and no one thought to question it. They just went, oh, well, I guess I guess they, they dealt with that then. <laughs> Just in a in a bureau like a bureaucratic hellscape that is the Imperium, there's there's no there's no getting around a loophole, you know. So let's have a look. Uh, I mean, there's only getting around a loophole. There's no getting around someone else getting around a loophole. Does that make any sense? Of course not. But we're gonna pretend it will, so I'm less embarrassed. Um, because everything has to be to the letter of the law, even when it actively harms everything. Although arguably, you know, you could say that the um, that the uh, 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 insane theocracy that trains child soldiers is is a force for good in the Imperium, because that's how terrible the Imperium is. Those are the standards. So anyway, I mean, I mean, what what good guys don't have a child army? I mean, come on. What's this? What's this purity testing we're doing? How's a child army disqualifying? Nah. It's just a child army. I think it's just lovely that these kids get to have a job. So anyway, let's... Oh, the Imperium. It sucks. Right, let's... Uh... Yeah, let's murder these guys. That'll cheer me up. Alright, let's get over here. Uh... 
Yep, so that is a relic. That's a Siren Caster, so we can get more loyalty out of these bad boys. Uh, okay, this guy will die now. Finally got round to kill, you know, killing those guys. Uh, you're happy where you are. Uh, more wall sentries on the way. Jesus. Alright, let's move here so we can actually take this back over. I'll attack that. Uh, you can just hover over here because you're not in anyone's way that way. And he's going to take some time to kill. There's another one there. There are so many. Another one there? Flipping egg. This is so dumb. Did I kill the one that was over here? No, it's there. Alright, I'll chase that down. So let's attack him. Let's attack him. Like, none of this is challenging. It's just incredibly, incredibly frustrating. Alright, let's grab that. Let's consume this tile. It doesn't get rid of the wire weed, though. Should probably have cleared that out. Um, can you reach anything? You can reach that. Let's help clear this one out, I guess. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, so we have another Trigon. Which I will spit out somewhere. Uh, well, he can not put one down yet. How about you? You can. Nice. In that case. Oh, you, I already had you attack. Oh, that's so stupid. I'm stupid. Never mind. Let's have him put one out there. And I would love to destroy that Dark Fortress myself, you know. I'd love to. Alright, you guys are healed enough. Uh, let's get you over there. You're fine. Um, yeah, let's attack Castle Gore. You guys all attacked? Yeah, you guys have done your thing. Good. Uh, a Hive Tyrant has done its thing. You've done your thing. You've done your thing. It just always wants me to do more with Hive Crones. It's very silly. And Hive Tyrants. It's very strange. Can I use that too? Oh, that's a free action. Oh, okay. Give him a good licking. Lovely. And him. Uh, I can level him up. Is that why it keeps asking me to do something? Because I haven't scrolled down. That could very well be it, you know. I just never scrolled down. Okay, more flyers, please. You guys sit tight. Maybe more biomass. I think everything just needs to produce more biomass for us at this point. Because, like, that's all we're doing. We're just spending biomass and just throwing units out. Just straight onto the front line. Honestly, the Tyranid's ability to get to the front line so swiftly is insane. It is absolutely brutal. Like, no other faction can just be like, oh yeah, I just recruited a new thing. It's on the front line. Same turn. It's, it's bonkers. But yeah, they definitely have a bad time in the early game, though. When, like, every enemy is heavily armoured. They have nothing but flippin' termigans. But, yeah, this is this is great. Far from being born perfectly ready for every situation, Tyranids have variable amounts of adaptable inherent, uh, adaptability inherent to, in their DNA. Ramping this capability up is in, uh, expensive in terms of resources, but allows them to change their behavior and physical capabilities in the field. Alright. Cool. Is that everybody? Does everybody get that? I don't know. Um, why not? Sure. Oh, hello. Look, you I found crawling about in the ruins. Venom. You know, from the Spider-Mans. Different guy. Different guy. Uh, right, you stand in the wireweed. Oh, hello, Hellbrew. I'll be with you in a minute. Once I destroy your city. And maybe your other city as well. Is that on the cards? Could very well be. Uh, oh, I have you. Can you break its... Yeah, break its armor. I don't think it would make any difference, honestly. I just heard the other city collapse. Yeah, it collapsed alright. Is this going to survive? I think this might survive. Maybe, hard to tell. I have a lot of other attacks queued up. Oh, well, I might get it. I might get it. It might just survive, though. Or I might be able to finish it off with this guy. 
that it has it has 14 health left. Wow, that's... Oh, you haven't attacked yet. There we go. There we go. And the end of Chaos? That's the end of Chaos. Brilliant. One turn, two cities. Nice. The unintelligible has defeated the indigestible. Those elements of the Chaos forces that are still human are being rendered down in reclamation pools. Those that are foul or corrupt or tainted with the warp take more time to subsume. But the incorruptible hive mind makes use of every element. It leaves nothing to waste. Fun. Uh, now you guys, I guess, can start... Oh, is this just water over there? That's interesting. So this map isn't actually as big as I thought. Uh, so we've had a hell brute, now a neutral hell brute. Hell brutes are twisted mockeries of space marine dreadnoughts they used to be, combining the firepower of small a small tank with the mind of a frenzied maniac. Each hell brute holds a living creature within its plated metal chest, a chaos space marine driven over the edge of madness by a never-ending cycle of war. You know, I've actually got... Um, they don't make them anymore, because hell brutes are just like the new... Dreadnought, as far as Chaos is concerned, you know, because all of their Dreadnoughts are 10,000 years old now, and so they're all basically all been turned into Hellbrutes. Um, I'm sure some Chaos Dreadnoughts, just general Chaos Dreadnoughts, exist in the lore, but, you know, not selling them. Um, but I've got an old metal one that uh, used to be, I think it used to be my cousin's, then he gave it to my brother, and then I inherited it because my brother is a is a functioning adult with a real job who, you know, doesn't collect Warhammer anymore. So, um, yeah, so I've got I've got a metal one. I haven't built it yet, but I really need to. It's one of those things you have to, like, it'll mostly be milliput by the end of it because the metal pieces just don't hold together at all. It's, honestly, you could you could kill a man with this. It's just a solid hunk. I mean, you've seen, you've seen what a dreadnought looks like. Imagine that, but just made out of lead or pewter, really. But, you know, just a big chunk of metal. It's ridiculous. So, hot, like, hardly holds under its own weight. So, yeah, I need to I need to make that at some point. I just know it's going to be a huge project in and of itself. But, uh, yeah, Chaos Dreadnoughts used to be a thing. You know, before they all turned into Hellbrutes. Uh, so each Hellbrute holds a living creature. Sure does. Chaos Space Marine driven mad. Silly boy. So, we found a Cannoness. A Cannoness is the overall commander of one of the Order's militant, a shining example of purity and dedication of purpose. Each is a veteran warrior of many hundreds of battles who has risen to her position through a combination of strong leadership, shrewd tactical genius, and sheer overarching faith in the Emperor. When the Ecclesiarchy sounds the call to arms, the Cannoness boldly leads... Excuse me. Uh, and now I've lost where I am because I was trying to stifle a sneeze. Uh, Canis boldly leads her warriors into the fray, refusing to take one step backwards while her enemies still draw breath. And we found a Dialogus as well. A sister Dialogus drowns out the filthy war cries of the enemy with shouts of exulting praise to the God Emperor. She is a locus of faith in the Adeptus Rotas's battle line, standing upon fire-swept uh, promontories, arm thrust proudly out with her staff of office, in an iron grip as shots whine around her. Her, her loud hailer amplifies her inspirational rhetoric over the din of battle. And through broadcasts to vox beads and sensoria arrays, she ensures that all nearby sororitas can benefit spiritually from her deep well of holy knowledge. Sure. And you can shoot that, can you? Okay, good, good lad. Uh, and you have leveled up. Cool. Uh, right. You can still move. In fact, all of you can. Are we going to go destroy this then? Yeah, I think we are. Right, I'm going to lead with you. And yeah, we're going to build that there rather than attack. Okay, this should go down pretty quickly. I mean, we've got the towel that we've got to deal with as well. Rude. Rude. You know, they could probably kill a Hive Tyrant quite easily. If they just sort of throw everything at it. So, we will have to be careful here. I might do Hive Commander here, actually. 
Probably should have waited until I'd sent um, any of these guys through. So, you can now do a lot of things. Mass incubation reduces cooldown of living incubator. That sounds good. Living incubator. Uh, summons termagants. At higher level. Oh, it summons them better. Restores hit points of termagant and target allied Tyranids unit. I mean, that's kind of cool. Uh, brood progenitor. Termagants gain additional attacks. I mean, fine. I guess. All right, that'll do. Um, cool. So that can spit out. So that reduces the cooldown. So every ten turns, I could reduce the cooldown. So I guess it just did like removes the cooldown, perhaps. Don't know. We'll soon find out. Because we're going on an adventure. And you get to do the same. Really. And you guys too. Really. Alright, not bad. So what have we found? We found a pulse accelerator drone, huh? The pulse accelerator drone augments the pulse weaponry of Operator's squad, leading uh blending greater range to their fire. And some builder drones? Probably for building. Tau drones are small hovering AI machines that fulfill a wide variety of support functions. Unlike the Imperium's AI, which are very simple and heavily constrained following the Men of Iron Rebellion, Tau's AIs are intelligent and operate independently. Builder drones are an Earthcast flavour. And stealth battle suits. For some foes, the only hint of danger is a slight sense of ghost or the unnerving feeling of being watched. For others, there is no warning at all. Before the world uh, lights up with chattering burst cannons and hissing fusion blasters flickering out from amid their camouflage fields, count the Tau stealth suits. Their point blank salvos, chopping enemy infantry to screaming awful and blowing their armored vehicles sky high. Cool. Uh, let's attack that thing. And so, can you do this as well now? Nah, I have to wait till next turn. Fine. Be that way. Uh, those termagants get to stand there. That's fine. Um, let's move them up. You stay where you are. Uh, you guys can come down here too. And... Right, we're still chasing these guys about. God. They just won't quit. Um, Alright, you can finish that one off. You can finish this one off. You can't get back to one of those in... Oh, hello. Hi. You can finish that one off then. Nice. And you can fly over here and maybe finish this one off. Yeah, maybe if I buff your damage, you can kill it. You can. Good. Which means I can have a heavier hitter attack this one. Then down here... This thing is nearly dead. Nearly. Okay, brilliant. Now what I'm going to do is build one of these. And this lot can escape whenever they like. Good. Uh, consumer tile. Done. Now you lot. You lot, as in you building you, can build some things. Cool. Uh, same with you lot. You lot meaning you. Build one more biomass thingy and we'll be good there. I might have to build more just because we have a bunch of research buildings which we won't need soon. We have five, in fact, so turning all of those off and replacing them with more. Um... Although we can't actually take more tiles. So actually that's the last tile we can take, so I guess that's that then. Uh, and then here... Um, I actually have a few more tiles we can take, which is nice. So that's good. Um, another card effects. Sounds great. You can't get anything, but you can grab another tile. So you might as well. And we'll choose some research. Yeah, gargoyles might actually be quite fun to have. Hive guards would be cool, but I guess they're not as good as a Tyran effects, are they? So let's get that instead. Okay. Cool. Making huge progress here. They're all fleeing. But there is a city here that I think is being attacked by the Tau as well, perhaps? 
So we should move all these guys to destroy this city. Uh, I just found a Chaos Rhino. Some drones kicking about. Yeah, look, there's that. Jerk using his rail gun to shoot my hive tyrant. Rude. Alright, let's uh, fly over here and attack him. Just put the fear of uh, fear of the hive mind into him, yeah? Okay, let's move around it. Oh, you can't get anywhere nice. That's sad. Okay, move over here. And what have I got in terms of new units over here today? None. Nothing recruited there, although I do have other units that can move in from here. So actually, that's fine. Uh, can't put it in a city, by the looks of it. I can put it there, though. So I will. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hammer of Vool, or whatever it's called. Living Battering Ram, in this case. So I think we might just be using Living Incubator a bunch. That does consume actions and stuff, though. It seems a bit of a waste. Well, they do get to act on that first turn, which is quite cool. Quite like that. Right, let's run over here. There's a commander. Just a lot of drones over here. They're probably going to die. That's fine. Kind of just want to throw them out there. God, nearly 30 damage in a single attack. Really nice. Oh, and you can eat a tile while you're here, I suppose. May as well keep um, keep eating things while you're here. So we found a lot of new units, which is nice. We'll start with the Chaos Rhino. The Rhino is the most common transport of the Space Marines, and the same can be said of the Heretic Astartes, for this machine is so ruggedly constructed it can see hundreds of years of warfare and still function at peak efficiency. The tank's chassis is based upon a standard template construct, meaning that it is relatively simple to build, maintain, and repair. Over the 10,000 years since the Long War began, the Rhino has seen continued use as the favoured transport of the Chaos Space Marines. They will even go so far as to loot them from defeated Imperial armies, though they will burn them clean of Imperial insignia as quickly as possible and festoon the stolen vehicles with spikes, blades, and gory trophies taken from the dis uh, dismembered bodies of their previous owners. And now it's dead. Hundreds of years of service. Peak efficiency. Marvellous. Alright, let's eat that thing as well. Uh, so these guys, I think... I love that they've just destroyed... These guys have just destroyed a city. And now they're all just going to go destroy a different city. I'm just immediately going to send them all over to go, like, help just wipe out this stuff. So good. And yes, I know, I have loads of these really close together. I'm, I'm just filling the area with bodies right now. It's all pretty great. Uh, let's get you over here, too. And some Tyranid Warriors. And another Carnifex. Nice. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So, Dominions discovered. Battle sisters who utilize specialized weaponry such as storm bolters, flamers, and melter guns are known as Dominions. They are amongst the Order's most aggressive warriors, driven by the need to destroy the Emperor's foes. Through their tra uh, though their training has tempered the worst excess of their imp uh, impetuosity, Dominions still yearn to fight at the fore of any Sororitas attack. Uh, a commander, Tau Commander. The Tau Commander surges into battle in a blaze of firepower, dynamic and determined. The commander places every shot perfectly for maximum lethality. Veterans of hundreds of battles, each town commander has the honour of piloting a battlesuit that represents the pinnacle of their race's military technology. The commander's weapons are of the finest quality, often including special issue armaments that annihilate swathes of enemy infantry or tear battle tanks apart with a single shot. And an ethereal. Solomon Stern, members of the ethereal cast, direct their followers with a calm authority that cannot be denied. Each ethereal moves in the eye of his own personal storm, an oasis of serenity amid the raging madness of war. Whether pacing steadily across the battlefield or borne upon the broad disk of a hover drone, the ethereal issues measured commands to the tower around him. 
uh, wherever his steady gaze alights, his followers fight harder than ever, compelled to excel in the eyes of one who utterly embodies the greater good. Cool beans. Uh, let's attack him. Marvellous. Alright, so... This city gets to survive another turn. There are two others nearby. So the sisters have really just crammed cities into this corner. Which is basically what we've been doing, but... Um, the way I've been doing has been much cuter. Look at these cuties. So cute. Alright, let's devour these, uh, these folk. Uh, Alright, let's attack this thing. Oh yeah, Trigon can get up here. Get us some more resources. And that'll be him dead. Uh, you can grab that. You can grab her. Not in that way. We're just going to tear her into a million pieces and devour her. Just not anything weird. Uh, yep, yeah, we're going to attack them too. Execute queued orders. I don't know what orders I've queued, but that's fine. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Starting to move towards this area. That's fine too. So you guys sit tight. Uh, are you guys done? Can't tell. But you can get over there. Oh, no, you're not done. There's still this thing. Jesus. They just won't stay dead. Let's get you over there too. You can grab that back. I think you killed your thing. We will have a lot more units able to... Oh my god, we've got these guys too. But yeah, we will have a lot more units able to get into the fight. Pretty soon. So that's nice. Okay, let's finish them off. Yeah, you're done there. God, what else have we got? Oh, have you not attacked yet? Oh no, you have this thing. Yeah, okay. Get him with the tentaclids then. Alright, now you guys. Let's get you up here. You're going to start attacking the Tau from this side. And do I want to send a Malanthrope up there? Build a new city? <laughs> or get some more research? I don't know. We'll do something. More Hive Crones, please. Lovely. And, yeah, you got Khan effects on the way. Do I need more Tyranid Warriors? God, I don't know. Let's get another Harrow specs, because they're quite fun. Probably better with just more Khan effects, honestly, but... Okay. I mean, I'm hearing a lot of gunfire. There's some more units showing up. Oh, wow. Some rockets coming in and hitting Selendine. I think the Tau actually have a pretty huge empire down in the south, you know. Unless there's another faction that I've not thought of down there still. The Hive Tyrant's probably going to need to back away for a bit, sadly. And, oh no, we lost a Trigon. God, this is insane. Okay, we're a little bit wrapped up now. Ooh, ooh, that's scary. Okay, I don't like the extra things shooting at us here. Yeah, the tower definitely going to be a problem. It's all that overlapping fire. The fact they can deal with us at range is very scary. Though we are about to get a bunch of Tyrannifex here, so that's nice. There can be little doubt that the massive Tyrannifex exists purely for destruction. It is a monster created for the most apocalyptic and grueling of battlegrounds. Awesome. Striding ominously toward their prey, these alien giants uh, deal death from afar, shattering enemy battle lines with merciless salvos of bio-weapons fire. The only way to stop the unrelenting slaughter is to slay the beast. But a Tyrannifex has a, the fortitude of a living battle fortress and is heedless of all but the heaviest enemy ordnance. Clad in ablative layers of chitinous armor, a Tyrannifex is, an unyield, uh, is as unyielding as any war engine built of steel or born of conventional technology. My God, we found a lot of other stuff today, haven't we? Jeez, so broadside battle suits as well, huh? With deliberate strides, the XV-88 broadside battle suits advance into optimum firing positions. Each, uh, inside each of the heavily armored battle suits, hollow targeting data dances across the retinas of the grim-faced pilot as he swings the suit's mighty guns towards the foe and beats them with them. Uh, each broadside is a walking gun battery carrying either a twin-linked heavy rail rifle that can smash through Imperial armor as though it were glass, or high-yield uh, missile pods 
capable of wiping out swathes of enemy infantry and lethal explosions. Here marker drones. Fitted with a marker light and predictive tracking module, marker drones can paint targets and call in seeker missile strikes. And the Sky Ray gunship. While the Hammerhead is a dynamic hunter, its sister gunship, the TX-78 Sky Ray, is, far more sinister. is a far more sinister killer. Mounting a complement of seeker missiles beneath its upswept ordnance racks, the Sky Ray typically lurks behind the main tower advance, remaining mute and concealed upon the moment uh, until the moment comes to strike. The Sky Ray often fulfills a supporting role, and its ballistic arsenal can be cooled in by any... Pardon me, again. Uh, Tau with a marker light to carry out a remote strike on a sufficiently valuable target. God, and, and a card for Fireblade as well. As the enemy surges closer, the Fireblade's courage steals his comrades, steadying the firing line and focusing the mind of every Fire Warrior present, raising his pulse rifle and sighting down its length. The Cartra Fireblade calls out enemy weak spots and optimal firing solutions to his followers. Watching the foes press closer with a pr practiced eye, only at the optimum moment does the Fireblade bark out the order to fire. At the Fireblade's command, the Tower Gunlight unleashes a storm of fire, an energized squall that tears the enemy to pieces with terrible efficiency. Anything else? No, that's all of the killing. All right, awesome. Uh, so we'll probably destroy this city pretty swiftly. Uh, there's a heck of a lot of other stuff here that needs dealing with. That city's probably going to go down pretty quickly to this lot. These guys backing them up as well. And yeah, we should be able to push into this area, uh, which might strain the tower a little bit. It seems the whole army's over here. So we've definitely got we definitely got things in the works. And the fact that I can just spit out more uh, termagants here every now and then hopefully should help slow down the enemy a bit. But... This cliff is really going to help them out, because they can just keep shooting at me while I'm pushing forward. This is a really bad location for us to be attacking from. This should help, though. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But we're going to have to see how it goes next episode, because we're at the end of this one. So guys, if you're enjoying this, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.